Sparkles! Ah, oh, baby. She's getting old. There's Bentley, big goofy Bentley. Hi, oh, Bentley. All right, we'll just leave the torch on. back again with another GT350 video we are currently heading to or we are at Trick's parents house <clears throat> we're going to be installing V2 long tube headers on the 350 and we're doing it here because my car is tore down at Austin's place so no space in the garage to do it and we kind of want to switch up content between all the cars keep it interesting for you guys so brought the car here I'm gonna back it in jack it up and get these long tubes on the car so stay tuned for that oh puppy down <laughs> don't even think about it oh baby that's Bentley Sparkles that's Barkles. Hi, Barkley. Down. No. no. So, yeah. Logan's rigs in there. Ah! You got to do some maneuvering. You got some cars in the garage, so. Hey, where do you want me to put this thing? Huh? Where do you want me to put this thing? Okay. So, yeah. Sparkles, my oh, baby. She's getting old. There's Bentley, big goofy Bentley. Hi, Bentley. All right, get down. Down, 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 down. Back up. Back up. Hey, another one. That's Austin's brother's truck. Come, dog. All the rigs out here. Austin's 2500, Logan's 2500, and then Austin's GT350. What? Barkles! Barkles! Come here! We're not coming to. That's what I just said. So we got this thing in the garage. We're going to jack it up. Get the uh, get the mid pipe off. All right, so we got over here, got the car all jacked up, and started trying to break some stuff loose. Ryan had already gotten the strut tower brace off, and once we got underneath the car and started trying to take the cats off or the cat pipes, we definitely realized that doing this job on jack stands is going to be pretty difficult. So we have a local shop that said we can bring the car over and knock it out on a lift instead of trying to do it on jack stands in the garage. So that's going to be the move. So once we get there and get the car all in, get it lifted up, we'll catch you guys back then and kind of show you the process and what's going to go into getting long tubes on this car. All right, so we just got here to the shop. Checking out these new long tubes. And they let us know they don't exactly fit because they hit up against the primary. So we're gonna have to notch that a little bit to make it fit. And then show you guys the other side. 
other side's pretty close too. We're gonna have to massage these pipes a little bit, get everything to fit properly, but everything else looks good. Good welding and everything. So once we get these pipes figured out, then we'll give you guys a first start video and see how they sound. Alright, we'll just leave the torch on. Alright, first start with the long tubes. Let's see how this sounds. of it but it is pretty raspy up top with these things driving out to 8200 it's definitely gets up there as far as how loud it gets and how raspy it gets so once uh, Ryan gets off work we'll head out do some flybys and let you guys hear it you know rather than just being a cold start we'll let you guys hear what it sounds like with the flyby so we'll see you then all right so we're back out here that's what it sounds like at that idle Sounds pretty good. there was normal driving he's gonna head back our way to do a, a pull so you can hear what it sounds like during a flyby so you heard what it sounded like whenever it was driving away normal it was pretty loud so expect this to be pretty loud as well whenever he flies by this is two in That was pretty loud, super loud. That's 2M, long tubes, Corsa, mid pipe, and factory mufflers. Unreal, unreal. <laughs> Gotta love big brakes. Out, did you? No. They heard, no. I heard him hit my hit my seat when I got on the brakes. Oh, my brakes in the back. Oh, doom, doom. That was loud. That was loud. 
That was super loud. But back it off these like curbs. second round of mods that we're going to be doing we got new uh, turn signal housings and running lights from diode dynamics but they are on a huge back order right now so only the first part of the order is shipped got a new reverse light got all the new lights for inside the car And we also have the new smoke side markers for the rear back here. So, my reverse lights down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to putting all those in. And then we also have, I don't have my keys right now, but all the interior lights. So the map lights, vanity light, trunk light, and the glove box those will all be led and get rid of the halogen bulbs so i'm gonna go grab my keys and then we will get started all right got the key now so what i was saying we will be replacing these lights and then these ones uh, glove box one then also all these ones as well and then the one in the trunk should be guys that one too I think the trunk yeah that's the trunk one so we're gonna get to work on that and then uh, I'll kind of show you guys the process on how we do it and what it looks like after we're done. Oh. I'm also going to show you guys what these look like. Factory. So just the red side markers. And then we got the 10 and ones like I said they were replacing it with. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work. So I was getting ready to put in the reverse light and didn't realize the GT 350s have the shielding all underneath so I'm gonna have to uh, pop these tabs out and get some of these screws out and drop that down a little bit but on the regular s 550s they are a ton easier to get to so I'm gonna start working on the inside stuff first and we'll come back to the reverse light what the side marker looks like so on these I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you guys or not you can get your hand up behind the factory light and then there's just a tab It's kind of hard to show you guys, but once you get underneath and get this little tab, you just push it back. Then 
the slide out. This one's kind of tight in there. I don't really know why. That's all it is. So he's got this one push tab that you push in to get past this lip. And then you just slide that side out. Undo that connection. And then you're going to plug in this other one. All plugged in. Slide it back. Get it into place. And then you just push her in. I have to clean up some of that wax. It's all on the edges, but you guys saw what the factory one looks like. And now uh, that's what these look like when they're turned on. So a lot cleaner look in my opinion. Obviously following the whole blacked out theme of the rest of the car. You know, with the lights off. It's all totally black. So go ahead and knock out that other side. And then we're gonna get to the interior lights as well. And after that, finally get to that uh, reverse light just with it being underneath everything all this stuff i'm not gonna have to take off any bolts or pins or anything like that factory one and the replacement on the passenger side so next thing we're gonna do is throw these away because we don't like factory stuff and then we're gonna get to work on these interior ones. I'll show you guys this one because it's super easy. On these, you just get up behind them and then pop them out. You're gonna feel like you're gonna break something, but it's just those push tabs and you pull, maybe. And all you're doing is just pulling that bulb out replacing it with the new one and then show you guys how to do the vanity plate or the vanity plate the vanity light ones next just to show you guys the massive difference between the leds and the halogens they look a hundred times better and it literally takes two seconds to flip them out so i'm gonna go ahead and get that passenger side one knocked out and then start working on the vanity lights so you gotta get these little plastic pieces off and then there's a screw here and then there's another screw up here. Sometimes you can get them in and out without taking the screws out but I'm gonna take the screws out just to show you guys how much easier it is to get these little guys in because it's a very, very tight little spot to try to get these in and out of. So once you guys get that piece off, I don't know if this is going to focus. This is what you're left with, so be careful because these might be a little hot. You might have to kind of pry them out a little bit. Alright, well... So once you get that off, you get the bulb out, take the diode one, put it in, and then up here is the little thing that opens, or that turns on the lights when you open the cover. So you can push that down and test. And I have mine installed backwards. So I'm gonna flip it around, plug it back in, and then that's the difference between the LED and the halogen. So I'm gonna go and get this other one done, get everything put back together and show you guys what it looks like. So now that we, oh. All right, so now that we got these done, this is what they look like after the fact. And then you guys can compare it to these ugly halogen ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys knocked out and then we're gonna work on getting that reverse light done 
Brian just got home, or just got here, I guess, off work. Kind of been his home here recently. Next set done. So now we're going to move down here and replace this bad girl. All right, so doing the light in the glove box, you can take this, kind of push it in, give you a little bit more room. Just be careful you don't break this arm off on the side. And then you can drop this little guy and be able to get your fingers up in there and swap it out. I kind of struggled for a little bit, so I did not record that part, but now that it's in, looks a ton better. You can't really see during the day right now, but it's a lot better than that halogen bulb was. So only thing that we have left now is the trunk light and then the backup light. All right, so the trunk light, all it has is one little tab. You gotta push it and bring it down. And then you can unplug it if you want to, or you can just go ahead and swap it while it's in there. I'm just gonna swap it while it's in because that's the way I wanna do it. Is that okay, Dad? That is great. There we go. All right, so that one swapped out. You can't really see much because it's got a glare, but that one is officially swapped over to LED. So the only thing we have left is this reverse light. And I'm gonna take off that splash guard underneath. And I probably need this. Take that splash guard off from underneath. Like I said, there's a couple of these little push pins take the center out and just pull them out like the regular ones there is a couple torx bits and then actually a few bolts as well so i'm gonna get all that ripped off and then show you guys the process of actually swapping the light out all right so i lied to you guys i thought that these were torx bolts but they are actually rivets to hold in this air dam and then there's two 13 millimeter bolts on either side and then a bunch of these little push tabs that go across so now i can finally get to this light get it swapped out and show you guys what the difference is all right so i want to do this part at night just to show you guys the difference in the lights and stuff um go ahead and turn this on and then put the car in reverse. All right, so now you guys can see, I'll turn this off. So that's what the side markers look like. Both of those. And then the reverse light is extremely bright. You can see Monica's car perfectly with it. So just wanted to show you guys what it looked like at night so you get a better idea of what the lights do and how they look. They These all look awesome. You can't really tell on that one, but... Uh, so this is it for the first round of mods. Um, we did the long tube headers and then we did all of the led mods all of the led mods on the car and next up is going to be the jlt intake and then we are also going to be doing a custom flex fuel tune hopefully with johnson tuning and once we get that thing strapped down on the rollers and see what kind of power it makes we will definitely be posting a video Thanks for watching and we will catch you guys on the next one.